this is Avram Weissel reporting to you from Nablus, Palestine. I want to give you a view of the uh, continuing tent camp protest here in the Davao, Martyr Square, downtown Nablus, in response and in solidarity with the Palestinian prisoners hunger strike which is ongoing. There, across the street, under the canvases, just beyond the circle of uh, the park in downtown Nablus here is the tent camp protest. In front is a banner, the yellow banner is the Fatah banner in solidarity with the uh, Palestinian prisoners hunger strike, of oh, that is the Palestine flag. Give you a bit of an idea here again what Nablus is looking like these days with the immense uh, construction projects that are going up further along the mountains that uh, surround uh, the city here. That was the uh, little triangle down the street there was Fatah Martyr Shrine. Beyond the yellow banner across the street was another larger triangle of the uh, Popular Front for Liberation of Palestine Martyr Shrine with the red uh, flags around it. And uh, across the street is the uh, tent camp protest, which is continuing. Let me give you an account of the current political situation here now. Let's see if I can give you a view of uh, ongoing uh, here at the same time. Now, the international media has given uh, reports of the uh, prisoner exchange which is taking place, uh, announced uh, to be taking place this week, uh, and uh, in exchange for the release of the uh, captive uh, Zionist uh, soldier uh, Gilad Shalit, uh, there is to be a uh, prisoner exchange uh, this week when he is released to Egypt, uh, 450 prisoners. When he is returned to the state of Israel itself, then there will be a further exchange of prisoners amounting to 1,027 Palestinian prisoners. This seems like a large number in exchange for one Zionist soldier, but uh, one should consider that um, there are between six and 7,000 Palestinian prisoners who are held in prison. There are children in prison, about 200. There are women in prison, about 37. And uh, they uh, can, are treated in various ways which amount to torture. For instance, um, the leader, aged leader, leader of the PFLP, the Pal Popular Front for Liberation of Palestine, Ahmad Sadat, is being held in solitary confinement, which is an underground cell of about one and a half meters by one meter. And uh, he uh, is in an unlimited hunger strike uh, since two weeks and has now fallen into a coma. There have been demands that he be transferred to a hospital, but we don't know uh, yet uh, if it is, has indeed been uh, um, uh, acceded to. So this uh, unlimited hunger strike of about uh, 200 Palestinian prisoners was initiated by the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine, PFLP, uh, and this is an unlimited hunger strike unto the death. The, uh, there are a number of other pr Palestinian prisoners yesterday who announced that they were joining the hunger strike in a limited manner of a few days a week. About a thousand other uh, Palestinian prisoners are joining the hunger strike. Let me give you a view now of uh, the Palestinian police who are just downstairs here. right next to the Fatah Martyr Shrine there.
No. The n news media has made the report of the prisoner exchange uh, in a uh, optimistic manner. That does not reflect the uh, current political conditions. Uh, for instance, the BBC has announced that the uh, uh, prisoner exchange was taking place because of the weakness of Hamas, which is trying to gain uh, international attention uh, to uh, counteract the attention provided uh, Mohammed Abbas in his um, presentation for uh, Palestinian independence to the General Assembly of the United Nations on the 23rd of September. Uh, the Al Jazeera news network has presented the matter as if uh, it was a result of the change in government, you know, of the uh, of Egypt uh, itself, which acts as an intermediary between the Hamas government and the uh, Zionist government of Israel. Uh, however, the um, change in uh, leadership or government of Egypt has uh, been in effect for quite a while now, and yet uh, the exchange has only been announced yesterday. Uh, the press, uh, TV, and uh, news network from Iran in English has uh, made the reports uh, without providing much of an interpretation, leaving the, its uh, listeners to uh, the conclusion that this is merely a matter of uh, Allah's blessing upon the Palestinian prisoners. However, the conditions here are that the uh, Palestinian prisoners' hunger strike was entering into a decisive uh, phase uh, after two weeks uh, with uh, the uh, leaders of the hunger strike uh, uh, falling into uh, dire uh, health conditions. Uh, Ahmad Sadat uh, is uh, uh, passed into a coma at this point and there have been demands for his release to, to a hospital. He is being held in solitary confinement although he is an aged uh, leader of the PLLP. Now Marwan Bhagwati is also not to be included in the prisoner exchange. It is thought at first that uh, these two prominent uh, uh, prisoners uh, would be released uh, amongst the uh, 1027, but that is not to be. The uh, character of the 1027 has yet, uh, the list has yet to be announced, but it may very well be that these are uh, prisoners of uh, a shorter uh, prison sentences of uh, less important prisoners, who would see. And so the uh, prisoner exchange is not as significant as it was made out to be by the Hamas leadership. So we are facing a uh, serious condition, and that is why the uh, protest camp across the street there is continuing and will continue until the, uh, the prisoners are uh, granted release from solitary confinement. This is all that they're asking for, is release from solitary confinement and to have a regular, ordinary, uh, family visits, uh, the ordinary uh, prison conditions, uh, contrary to the uh, increasing severity of in confinement in the prisons that was the uh, policy of the Netanyahu government uh, of recent days. So um, I will continue to report to you what is actually happening here in Nablus, Palestine, and not um, what is uh, the reports that you uh, may have heard you know, on the various news media which try to uh, present an interpretation of events that suit their own purposes. Again, this is Avon Weissel reporting to you and will continue to report to you from Nablus, Palestine for the next two months as I have been for this past month. Thank you very much for listening and please pass on this information to uh, others and uh, send this link out. This is uh, uh, being reported to uh, Facebook and uh, to the uh, various lists of uh, the uh, International Jewish uh, Solidarity Movement with the Palestinian people and against the occupation of the Palestinian territories.